Hey, what's up, you guys? Yes, I am white. Or, hey, what's up, you guys? Yes, I'm white. I have Dylan here. Say hi. <laughs> right here is what you can see. Small people problems. I am small. And I'm proud of it. I'm small and I'm proud of it. And why it's like four. Look at where I made it. I'm gonna talk to Sans last. You. Wait, hold up. Yeah. Have you have you been with the virus? Yes. Wow. I'm past that point. So you killed him? No, I didn't kill him. I'm going pacifist, remember? But you already went at genocide. No. What did you do? Start the beginning? No. So I've been told by uh, people all around randomly because I asked them questions. They said I should go back to Papyrus's house. Uh, they say like then I can have that date. Oh hey. So you came. Back. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? My house. His house. Okay. Yeah. Did you shake it up? They go crazy. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, it's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes. Inside is a joke book. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. Inside. This is the quantum physics book. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 yeah. Yay. What is this? If it hits that wall, it's a okay? It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. It's our responsibility, Sam. Oh, okay. Sans, please pick up your sock. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't put it right down. Move it. Mm -hmm. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it into your room. Mm -hmm. Okay. And don't bring it back. I am. See, this is recording. Oh, she's Right. It's one to nothing. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not yep. to bring it back to my room? Forget it. Oh, it's my favorite game show. This is stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. What's this? Why is... That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it any time. Oh, oh God. The Thorn Creepers. <laughs> My brother always goes out to eat, but recently, he tried baking something. It was like a quenching, but filled with a sugary, non-egg substance. Uh, I'm absurd. Yeah, let's hit this way, so just go in the... Okay. Uh, okay. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please! Huh? Pursue is my curly option. Half of the fridge is labeled with containers filled with labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. 
I want a fridge like that. And press, I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look, see. What? Catch that meddling canine. Carsis. Sad. Wait, it's so small, I don't like that. Hang on, you guys. Wait. I think it would get better. Hang on. Sad. Stop plaguing me. My life with intentional music. Okay, well, I've been down here, so. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Yeah. Stop editing. Stop editing the scene. It's a monstrosity. Okay. Hey, those are all the attacks I used. Hey, they threw this at me. Ooh. Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it just basically happened. I'm bored. So, um, if you see everything, do you want to start the date? Yeah, I'll begin the date. Okay. Dating start. Dating start. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can spell prepared without several letters because of my name. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for dating hub. Wow, we! I feel so empowered. It actually is Monday. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem. Yeah, man? I look great, Papyrus. We'll go on a date with you. Okay. Really? Wow, we. He looks like a person from anime. Doesn't he? He looks like he's from an anime. Just. Is that just me? No, not just me. I guess that means it's time for part three. Tip three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. Did I kill him? No! You planned it all! You are way better at dating than I am! No! 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 Your dating power! Oh my! So I need to enhance that? Nah! Nah! Don't think you're busting me yet! I, right, Papyrus! I've never been beaten at dating, and I never will! My hair looks horrible. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Nah, what do you think of my secret style? I like it. No! A genuine compliment! However, you don't treat 
really understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This day will escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Oh, it's hot boom. What? Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Uh, shoulder pads. I see, I see. You like carrots, you know? My, my chef. Is it your shorts? There's no secret to my life. Just hard work and perseverance. She was souls and stronger than monster souls. But the soles of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. There's nothing else except your hat. My hat? My hat. My hat. Well, well then, you had my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. I'll open it. Do you know what this is? Uh, sure. Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But I'm so wrong. This isn't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti, finally aged in an oaken cast, and then cooked by the me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to win this. There's no way this can go any further. I'll eat it. You take a small bite. Your face your skirt is up. Your taste is irresistible. Or whatever. I'm tired. As you can see by my eyeballs. <coughs> what a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking. And by extension of me, maybe even more than I do. Ah, urgh! No! Kaboom! Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say. It's all been for my sake. Human, I want to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match, match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. In that prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? We're friends? Hey, what? Stop. No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fear about anything. Human? I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend. And act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't 
don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Well, gotta go. <laughs> What's this? Look inside the closet? Yes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Okay. The door is locked. I mean... No. Yeah, 
I gave him the earbuds. I was just at your house. What? Have you seen a guy with two jobs before? Literally, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grubbies. Want to come? Sure. Well, you exist. I'll pry myself away from work. Yo, they can't hear me because of your phone. Huh? They can't hear me because of your phone. Oh, crap. Alright. Here we go. Over here. I know a shortcut. Oh, God. Fast shortcut. Hey. Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi, Sansie. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah. Oh, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. Oh, you must be thinking of brunch. Oh. <laughs> here, get comfy. Whoops. Watch where you sit down. Sometimes we just put whoopy cushions on the seat. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Fries. Wait, what? Fries? I got it. They were talking about knives. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Really? We'll have a double order of fries. <laughs> so, what do you think? And my brother. He's cool. Of course he's cool. He'd be a cool tool if you wore that outfit every day. You know, they take that off. If he'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yeah. Okay. Bon appetit. You tip the ketchup. The cat falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your face. Whoops. Yeah, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. He just scratched my butt. Illuminati. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree. Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the royal bar. One day, he went to the house of the head of the royal guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. Would you ever do something like that? <laughs> yes, correct, boy! I wouldn't do something like that. Like, I don't care if it's a really special group or anything. What are they doing? Whoa! <laughs> Alright. But the next day, she, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him more of your training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? It's yellow. Is he talking about Flowey? So you know all about it. You guys don't know who Flowey is. The Echo Flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and then repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery advice, encouragement. Stay out of my 
Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. You guys don't know who Flowey is. He's a talking yellow flower. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill for me? No. Just kidding. Groovy, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forget. Well, then it ain't important. What else is there to do now? He's right there. So, what are you guys up to? Um, no. Them. You guys let me know in the comments. So, uh, you like this game? No? Because I could do more games. I don't know my limit of games, but, uh, I could do more games. You want me to? You name the game, I might be able to do it. So am I wanting to get out off of something? This is a box. You can put an item in it or take an item out. Why would you though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. Hey, haters gonna hate. I swear I saw something behind that rushing water. No. Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. Oh, uh, okay. No, there was a camera behind the waterfall. Oh. Yeah. No. Oh. oh, it's papyrus. Oh no. You're dead. Ha. Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my dad and report. Oh, you're Undyne. Regarding that human I called you about earlier. Uh, did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them fiercely. What, did I capture them? But, well, no. I tried very hard on them, but in the end, I failed. What? what? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But I'm dying. You don't 
ha have to destroy them, you see? You see? I understand. I I'll help you in any way I can. Dylan, I'm scared. Ah! Don't kill me. Damn. Her music though, or he? Undyne's a he, right? Undyne's a she. Nah, it's a he. Undyne is a she. Oh, my God. What are you doing? Do a voice for him. Do a voice for him, right now. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? Right. Yo, did she? Did you see the way she was staring at you? That's his new voice now. That, that was awesome. I'm so jealous. What did you do to get her attention? Haha. <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Oh, he fell on his face. The feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Safe. They will sprout. Okay. Oh, it's on my head. How do I get rid of it? Can I even get rid of it? Get that? It didn't work. actually have had a lizard, have you actually ever like fed them crickets or something like that? And like you can hear the crunch of them like eating the food like <coughs> like it's so loud. Who the f are you? Aaron flexes is in. Aaron, attack seven, defense two. This seahorse has a lot of HP, horse power. All of the attacks are harder to dodge at the bottom of the box. Check all you want. Oh no. Oof. The Michaels. Never mind. Air is flashing you playfully. Shoot. Tell Air to go away. Wow. Spunky. Love it. I don't. Oof. Oh yeah. Ooh, yeah, ooh, the muscles, oof. Well, then look, flex. You flex, air flex is twice as harder. Attack increases for you, too. Flex contest, okay. Flex more. Wow. Shut up. Our fate rests upon you. Quiet. Stay determined. I want to, man. Oh, I like that. Okay. Well, that does it for this episode on Undertale, guys. If you guys liked it, click the like button. If you want to see more, click the subscribe button. As always, I will see you in the next video. I am out. Punch the phone. Bro.